Hey there, I'm Douglas from DraftBet, and in today's video, we'll be talking about the icon component. The icon component is a small visual element that you can use to display images or symbols in your application. It's perfect for enhancing your UI with graphical elements like icons from popular icon libraries. So how do we add the icon to the screen? So to add this, we go ahead to our component picker on the left, uh, we click add, and then we search for icon. Once it's added, you can see a default icon on your screen, which we can customize. So if we come here to data, so if we come here to data, make sure icon is clicked. Then we go to data here on icon. We should be able to click this icon and then we're able to see all the icon libraries that we can choose from. So DraftBit provides access to multiple icon sets that you can choose from. These sets include hundreds of icons from popular libraries such as Design, Evo icons, Feather icons, Font Awesome, yeah, and many more. With so many options, you'll be able to find an icon that fits any use case, whether it's for navigation, buttons, or any other visual elements, All right? So for now, let's just pick uh, this icon. Let's move on to styling options available for the icon component. You can change its appearance by adjusting the following properties. So here we come to styles. Uh, firstly, you can change the color. Then up next, we can change the size property. You can control the width height of the icon with this setting. By default, the size is set to 24 points, but you can adjust it to make the icon larger or smaller depending on where it's used inside your application. So you can just say 50 and then our icon is going to be going to become much bigger. Yeah, then now let's look at the configuration properties for the icon component. So if you come here, we go to config and first we have the uh, component name. So this allows you to be able to change the name as it appears inside the component tree. Uh, by default, it's named icon, but if you're using multiple icons, it wouldn't make sense for all of them to be called icons, right? So you would, it would be a good idea to give each one a unique name. Right. And then yeah, back to data, uh, we have conditional display. So conditional display, just like other components in DraftBit, the icon component can also be conditionally displayed to the screen uh, based on specific conditions. So here we can have a variable that says that if the variable is true, I want you to display the icon else don't display the icon. And how do we add that? We come to variable and then add variable. Then we can just say show icon. Right. And this will be a Boolean and by default it's going to be false. Right. We save that and then we go to our condition and for the value we add the show icon. So now by default we don't show the icon and then when something a certain action happens we change our variable uh, show icon. Uh, it goes back to true and then we'll be able to see the icon. Then, yeah, before we wrap up, it's important to note that if you want to add actions or interactivity to an icon, you should use the icon button instead. So this is the icon where we're just putting this icon wherever we want on our screen. But then sometimes we want an icon that we can click. So the icon component is not appropriate for that. Instead, we use the icon button. Yeah, so that's an overview of the icon component in DraftBit. We've looked at how to add it, how to choose very various icon sets, customize the size and color, and configure the data properties. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial and want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.